there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to show you how to make some chains that can be broken. You can also have ones that are connected, but there's lots of verses you could use for this one, and I am going to be using Isaiah 58. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen, to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry? and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter, when you see the naked to clothe them, and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Isaiah 58, 6 through 8. And to make chains, you need ones that are facing toward you and ones that are facing flat. So what I've created is a couple of sticky note shapes, and you need kind of rectangular ones for every other one and then long skinny ones for every other one. And I'm just using sticky notes. You can see my size there, two inches by one and a quarter. And all of them should be two inches long or whatever that measurement is, depending on the size that you're going to make. So I'm going to make a block for one of them. And then the little skinny one is the side view of the chain. And this, the width of this one should be about the width that you want all of your chains to be. So that's why I don't really have a measurement here. I just kind of guessed when I put it against my rectangle because I figured out that would be about the appropriate size. So one of them here I've cut in two so I can have it be broken. And then I'm just going to continue my chain alternating between the rectangle and the long skinny one and then give some depth, some thickness to the rectangle. And you can see I'm trying to match roughly the thickness of that long skinny one. The long skinny ones then get rounded edges on them and the rectangles get rounded edges. And you can decide whether you want your chain to be more like a block and give it a little bit of a, a curved edge to it, or I'm gonna erase those little edges and give them even rounder edges. So it's up to you how round you want yours to be. And sketch them all in. The long skinny ones, keep those in the front and then keep the rectangle ones in the back. And then they'll start looking like they're intertwined with each other. And don't worry about perfection. You can see I'm being really loose with my sketches because there's gonna be a lot of color going on here. So depending on what you're gonna use, then that will determine how tight your illustration should be. I'll be using my Ink Tense pencils for this. These are ink pencils, but they act like a watercolor pencil. When coloring with any watercolor type of pencil, if you're going to be moving the color around with water of some sort, you don't have to be a perfectionist when you're doing the scribbling. However, the better you do your scribbling, and the more you get kind of natural blending going and by that I mean when you start your yellow you'll bring your orange over top of part of the yellow and then it will fan out from there and you'll you'll get kind of a natural blend going outward from that center point. I wanted to focus on the fact that the verse talks about your light bursting forth or your light breaking forth and I wanted the place where the chain is broken to be the place where that light radiates out from. I'm applying the color or moving the color with a baby wipe instead of with a brush. You can use a brush, you certainly can, but I find that I get a little bit of a smoother blend when I can do a larger area all at once, whereas with a brush I'm fighting brush strokes and that sort of thing. So I can do that with this as well as putting less water on the paper and Bible paper you know it's paper so it's not really thrilled with water anyway so the less water you use the happier the Bible paper will be in the long run. I'm trying to make strokes that kind of radiate out from that center point because I want to create that that view of this whole thing being breaking from that center point and everything else is going to get darker around the outside edges. Some people are not going to want to have color over the text. I totally get that. You could do this just in the column. You can arrange your chains in any type of way that you want. You can label the chains, you can hang things off the chains, you can do a lot of different things to use this kind of chain artwork in your Bible journaling. Here's where I say don't do as I do, but do as I say. 
because I wanted to add another layer of color to this, but I did it after using pencil to create the outlines. Pencil's easier for me to do outlines with, that's why I like to. So I should have done the extra layer of color on the rest of it first, because if I did any blending and I touched this dark outline, I'm going to blend the dark outline. And I also am going to be struggling a little bit, you'll see, with coloring around that dark outline because the pencil that I am using may touch it and start pulling that color around. So if you're going to do this and you want to add more color, add the color first and then add the outline, or you can just add the outline with something that is not going to give you an issue, like a pen. But I find that I don't draw as well with pens when it comes to a crisp outline like this. But I am adding a second layer of color on all of this. I was debating whether I'd even use any moisture at all. Because now that I have the base color down and I've already got that blended, it's much easier to color over top of this with the same pencil colors again. And they look more blended because the color underneath is blended. But what I did decide to do was change that bluish color to more of a bluish with red over top of it because the whole idea of putting the blue there was to make it more of a contrast. Like there's just all this icky, uh, terrible stuff on the outside. That's where all the, the chains are being held. And the yellow part, that bright color, is where the freedom is coming from. So when I started adding that red over top, it, it kind of pulled that back into the same color frame as the red, but it made it more of a dark red or a, a purplish red and gave me the ability also to use that baby wipe to create more lines so it really felt like this color is radiating out. So it did take a little more work because I was working around trying not to do any splooging and touching of the black outlines around the chains. So there you go. Learn from what I do and don't do that portion of it. <laughs> do your second layer of color first. But I'm still quite satisfied with how this came out. Once it was somewhat dry, I used my iron to put a piece of paper over top of it and flatten everything out pretty nicely, and then start to add my words. And since I had drawn the outline of the chains in pencil, I also did my text in pencil, and I just wrote breakthrough right through the middle of it. And when you do your lettering, you can write it in pencil really light um, first, so you make sure you get all your letters the right size so they fit. Or what I had done was take a piece of tracing paper ahead of time and wrote the word breakthrough so I'd at least have an idea of the size of the letters to make sure that everything fit and I didn't run off the side of the page because that happens to me from time to time because I don't think ahead all that often. I did decide to add color into the chains and it, I picked up the blue pencil instead of the black pencil, so I will have a little bit of blue chains going on. But I left the white of the chains right by the word breakthrough so that there's highlights coming on those and then everything else gets darker. And it's really easy with a brush to make this color look really smooth. And so I'm just running over each one of those sections once with a wet brush, and that's gonna just smooth out that color and give it a different texture than all of that that stuff around it. So the words that I wrote on here were from the scripture, use me to loose the chains of injustice, untie the cords of the yoke, set the oppressed free, break through by sharing my food with the hungry, providing shelter for the alien, and clothing for the naked. And so there is my page for today. You can use this with all different kinds of verses. Make your own chains, your own arrangement, curl them around different directions. You can make big ones, little ones, now that you know how to do it. And I will see you guys again next week with another Lenten video. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Bye-bye.